Bueno, Frito. The wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Manchester City, they take on Villarreal and it's next on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City against Villarreal. Well, Derek, you just wonder what those players are thinking right now. Some will be nervous, some will be excited, and some may be anxious. But once that whistle blows, we're going to be in for an absolute classic here. City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Kyle Walker plays with Joao Cancelo in the fullback positions. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Villarreal starting 11. A towering presence in goal in the person of Geronimo Rulli. Manu Trigueros plays with Dani Parejo in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club kings of Europe? And they need to get tighter, but really sticking to their task defensively. Ruben Diaz. Phil Foden now, and he might be through here. Well, he's given us away. Well, Kevin De Bruyne, one of the complete midfield players in the modern game. Stuart, what do you expect we'll see from him this time around? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes round the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Foden. The pass could do damage. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. And it was a good looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Grunefeld. Pervis Estupinian. Lo Celso. Very quick thinking there. And just losing control of the ball, and it will be a throw-in. Rodri. Foden. The ball with Rodri. Phil Foden now. Sterling. 
Jesus. Walker now. De Bruyne plays it back. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Gabriel Jesus. Sterling. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Will he finish? Really good timing stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. So the corner played into the box. It didn't happen for them. De Bruyne, and blocked for now. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. And a goal for Manchester City! They forge ahead in this final. Let's see what it means in the grand scheme of things. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. again with the scoreline standing at 1-0 they need to get tighter here and the referee is quite rightly letting it go well they have it again Sterling Joao Cancelo And Sterling has it. And now Rodri. And he saw the situation developing. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Walker. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door, as he did then. Pulls it back. And blocked for now. Gabriel Jesus, a wonderful intervention. Parejo. Now Aurier. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Comes it back. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Who can he pick out? Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. De Bruyne. Now, what can they do from here? High echelon goalkeeping there. Playing it in, foiling them effectively. Parejo, well, let's see about the cross. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Gabriel Jesus. Walker now. Kevin De Bruyne. Rodri. It's with Laporte. Sterling. Joao Cancelo.
but nothing comes of it. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Well, it fizzled out. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. De Bruyne. Walker. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who? Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Ruben Diaz. Now with Silva. De Bruyne. On to Silva. Well, they keep passing away. And I must say, that was a very promising attack. The alarm bells were sounding. Well, a pity that. It looked promising, but that's going to be claimed by the keeper. Sterling. Foden crossing opportunity and well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing Sterling Rodri De Bruyne now with Jesus Walker and crossed in the direction of the back post well, the clearance, half-hearted. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. technique but no reward sadly for him yeah he's hit it really well but i think he knew it was always going past the post he's unlucky though parejo manu trigueros just cutting off the supply. Silva. De Bruyne now. And it's Gabriel Jesus. And they have possession again. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Beautifully disguised ball. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Bernardo Silva. Silva. And keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Sterling. I must say, this looks promising. But ultimately, up a cul de sac. Foden. The ball with Rodri. No, high quality defending. And he's through here. He got a good palm on it. 
Joao Cancelo. And now Rodri. Precise ball movement. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Well, that save has kept them in this game. They now need to create one or two chances of their own. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And let's give credit to the defending. Rodri. Sterling. On to Silva. Well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. De Bruyne. And now Sterling. Tremendous block. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Well, they're inching ever closer, City. It's almost a victory, but not quite officially so. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts on their performance. Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. Kevin De Bruyne. Phil Foden now. Silva. Rodri. De Bruyne now. Getting forward. Oh, surely! Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And now the delivery. And that's a high-quality stop. Well, it may not count for anything, but that was a great save, wasn't it? A change in the offing for City. Delivering it. And still dangerous. Effective looking pass. Or getting the ball forward. Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. Substitution time it is here. Over the touchline for a throw in. Dia. Teammates in the middle. Oh, splendid header, but a fine save. Well, this late corner could represent their last chance to equalise. And over it comes. Poor execution with regard to the corner. And a throw in it's going to be. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. This could be the equaliser. Oh, a goal to level us up in the closing stages. Who's going to claim the trophy? It's an open question here.
Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure, but the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. Well, forward they go again, can they win this? Foden. Sterling has it. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, the ball rolling again, no end to the action. It's the first period of extra time, and I must say, this has been a back-and-forth type of game. Moreno. Parejo. Capu. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Who can he pick out? And he's clear as lines. Lo Celso. Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. Over it comes. And the danger cleared. Nice looking pass. Well, possibilities in the centre. Top class defending. But they look as though they want to make this move count. Playing it in. Not no end product. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Parejo. Capu now. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Walker. Sterling has it. Grealish. Sterling. Still passing it around with authority. Mares! And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So at the halfway stage in extra time and 15 more minutes left.
Well, the second period of extra time commences. What drama do we have in store for us? Riyad Mahrez. The ball with Rodri. Walker. Gundogan. And Grealish. Fernandinho. Grealish. Walker. Cuts it back. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save and then the recovery. Aurier. Can they fashion something? They need a goal, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Gundogan Grealish Well it looked highly promising but they got nothing out of it Minutes ticking away Just five minutes remaining in extra time Still they lead And showing fine vision And he clears the danger Capu And under pressure That was a fine play Rodri, Fernandinho with it. Mares, Walker now. Rodri, now Walker. Mares, perfect challenge. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have what? Can he finish them off? Manchester City, Champions League winners. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Manchester City. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. Would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night.